the way of the cross with the book of Isaiah. Among the prophetic books of the Bible, none surpasses that of Isaiah as a guide along the way of the cross. The death and burial of Jesus and his work as saviour of all peoples are to be found in these pages, which according to St. Jerome's explanation, Isaiah wrote not only as prophet, but as evangelist. The great servant songs proclaim with, a, with a astounding clarity the coming of the Christ who is to suffer grievously and give his life for many. We also encounter both vivid imagery as the song of the unfruitful vineyard and great penitential texts distinguishing between false and true worship all leads us ever more deeply into the mystery of Christ's love for each one of us. Let us pray as we travel this way of the cross that we may be inflamed with the fire of divine love. As St. Bonaventure wrote, this fire is God himself. The furnace is in Jerusalem and Christ kindles it with all the burning fervour of his passion. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. The clay condemns the potter. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because, because by, by thy holy, holy cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. Listen to me. I am he. I am the first, and I am the last. Woe to you who strive with your maker, earthen vessels with the potter. Does the clay say to the one who fashions it, What are you making? On the great and terrible day of the Lord, the clay interrogated the potter and condemned him to a disfiguring death. Lord Jesus, we too question and resist as your presence shapes and challenges our lives. Grant us true repentance and the grace of sensitivity to your touch. May we, earthen vessels, be moulded by your divine love. Amen. We are the clay and you are our potter. We are all the work of your hand. Do not be exceedingly angry, O Lord, and do not remember iniquity forever. The second station, Jesus takes his cross like a lamb that is led to the slaughter. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because, because by, by the holy, holy cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. world. By a perversion of justice, he was taken away. He was oppressed and he was afflicted. Yet he did not open his mouth. Like a lamb that is led to the slaughter, he did not open his mouth. Yet he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. Learning to obey through suffering, Jesus, the Paschal Lamb of the new and eternal covenant took his cross in silence. Jesus, Lamb of God, forgive us when proud disobedience makes us harsh or weak. Grant us a share in the gentleness and strength of your divinity. May we take up our own personal crosses gently but firmly and follow you. Amen. Surely, he has borne our infirmities and carried our sorrows. Our Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. The highway of the cross is the holy way. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. A highway shall be there, and it shall be called the Holy Way. 
The unclean shall not travel by it, but it shall be for God's people. Your eyes shall see your teacher, and your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way. Walk in it. Weakened by the scourging of the pillar, Jesus stumbles and falls on the road to Golgotha. Jesus, mighty counsellor, although weakened by our own sinfulness, we recognise that your holy way is one of love, sublime and pure. Forgive our frequent lapses into petty and uncharitable words and deeds. May we grow in self-forgetfulness. Amen. For we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have all turned to our own way. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. What more could I have done for my vineyard? We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because yes, by the Holy, Holy Cross you have redeemed the, redeem the world. My beloved had a vineyard on a very fertile hill. He dug it and cleared it of stones, and planted it with choice vines, expected it to yield grapes, but it yielded wild grapes. He expected justice, but saw bloodshed. Righteousness, but heard a cry. The Son, the Beloved, and Mary gaze at each other, united in anguish of heart. Lord Jesus, you gave us depths in which to breathe the pure air of the Spirit, and planted the choice vines of faith, hope, and charity. More you could not have done. Yet we fail to yield rich fruit, pardon our offences, and grant us humility. Amen. Thus says the one whose name is holy, I dwell with those who are contrite to revive the spirit of the humble. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. Learn to do good. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, who teaches you for your own good, who leads you in the way you should go. Cease to do evil. Learn to do good. Seek justice. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be like snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall become like wool. A stranger entering the city was manhandled and forced to take the weight of the cross of Jesus. Christ, our Redeemer, as pilgrims heading to the heavenly Jerusalem, we seek forgiveness for our reluctant and negative attitudes. These make our sins like scarlet. Help us to respond positively to the mystery of deep suffering in our world and relieve the distress of others. Amen. If you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. I will have compassion on you. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because, because by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. I held out my hands all day long to a people who provoked me to my face continually. Listen to me, you that seek the Lord. With everlasting love I will have compassion on you. The mountains may depart, and the hills be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you. Veronica wipes the distorted face 
of a despised victim of violence. He is the Christ, the Lord's anointed. Lord Jesus, forgive our many failures to reflect something of your compassion to others. Grant us the grace to renew our efforts to recognize you in those enduring physical, mental, and emotional anguish. May we truly seek to lighten their burden. Amen. I gave my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. Do you see the way of peace? We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because, because by, by thy holy cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. Israel's sentinels are blind, their feet run to evil, and they rush to shed innocent blood. The way of peace they do not know, and there is no justice in their paths. The roads they have made crooked, no one who walks in them knows peace. Jesus, crowned with thorns, falls again as he proceeds uphill to the place of the skull. Prince of Peace, be merciful when we stumble into thorny byways of tension and conflict. Grant us grace to travel your straight path, uphill and demanding though it be. As children of God, may we shun anything unworthy of your gospel of peace. Amen. Those of steadfast mind, you keep in peace. In peace because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever. The eighth station. Jesus consoled the women of Jerusalem who can live with the devouring fire. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because, because by thy holy, holy cross thou hast redeemed the world. The Lord will come in fire, and his chariots, like the whirlwind, who among us can live with the devouring fire, who among us can dwell with everlasting flames, those who walk righteously and speak uprightly, and shut their eyes from looking on evil, they will live on the heights. Weep not for me, but for yourselves and for your children. From his sacred heart, the source of all consolation, the words of Jesus flowed. Loving Saviour, as we ponder the future, we intercede for the young and ask pardon for our sins. May we live out the full practical implications of your truth and respond wholeheartedly to you, the life and the truth. Amen. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. By fire will the Lord execute judgment. The ninth station, Jesus falls a third time. My ways are higher than your ways. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by thy holy, holy cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. Listen to me, my people. My thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Only in the Lord are righteousness and strength. The King of heaven and earth falls heavily as he approaches Golgotha. Jesus, Lord of the universe, we confess that we are often that we often we often chose our own lower way. Grant us the grace to live according to your own far higher way, which alone 
and save the people of the planet Earth and lead us to a sublime future beyond time and space. Amen. We account him stricken, struck down by God and afflicted. Who could have imagined his future? The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. The word shall accomplish that which I purpose. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by thy holy, holy cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. Here is my servant whom I uphold. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. By myself I have sworn. For my mouth has gone forth in righteousness the word that shall not return. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose. He who was made flesh to bring us salvation is the one stripped of his garments. Lord Jesus, pardon us when, weighed down by possessions, prejudices and pettiness, we fail to accomplish the divine will. May we cling to nothing and acquire nothing which hinders us from assuming your spirit, for you are the word of the Father. Amen. He was despised, a man of suffering, and acquainted with infirmity. He was despised, and we held him of no account. The eleventh station. Jesus is crucified. I have set my face like flint. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by, by thy holy, holy cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. I said, Here I am, here I am, to a nation that did not call on my name. I looked, but there was no helper to sustain me. The Lord God helps me. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. The soldiers crucified Jesus with two criminals, and passers by mocked him. Jesus, 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 as we reverently call on your saving name, cleanse us from our sins, the cause of your intense suffering. We yearn to declare with the prophet, Here I am, send me. Bestow on us steadfast endurance as your loving witnesses. Amen. He was wounded for our transgressions, transgressions. Upon him was the punishment that made us whole. The twelfth station, we'll just change for it for a few moments. Jesus dies on the cross. He was crushed for our iniquities. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because, because by thy holy, holy cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed, redeemed the world. We had no f he had no form or majesty that we should look at him nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. There were many who were astonished at him, so marred was his appearance, beyond human semblance, and his form beyond that of mortals. He was crushed for our iniquities. Bowing his head, Jesus gave up his spirit. The centurion watching declared, truly, this man was the Son of God. Jesus, Lord of life, as repentant sinners, we implore forgiveness. When you laid down your life, you became for us the bread of life and chalice of salvation. May we share in your divinity and be wondrously transformed by your great deed of love. Amen. He poured out himself to death and was numbered with the transgressors. Yet he bore the sin of many. The 13th 
13th station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. Those who wait shall not be ashamed. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by the Holy Cross, our last redeemed Lord. The righteous one, my servant, shall make many righteous. He will be the stability of your times, abundance of salvation, wisdom, and knowledge. Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. Do not fear, for you will not be ashamed. Jesus, having poured himself out to death, is placed in the arms of Mary, his mother. Loving Saviour, in our unstable world, evil forces secure technical triumphs. Forgive us when we are apathetic, feeling ourselves apparently helpless. Grant us a living faith that despite superficial appearances, the victory of light over darkness is ours. You are our wisdom and stability. Amen. I have trodden the winepress alone. I was not rebellious. I did not turn backwards. He who vindicates me is near. station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. The prisoners are released from the dungeon. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by the Holy, Holy Cross, Cross has redeemed redeemed the world. I said, I have laboured in vain, yet surely my cause is with the Lord. And now the Lord says, I have given you as a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. In profound silence, the king descended into the underworld to raise Adam and all sleeping in the shadow of death. Lord Jesus, we who inherited Adam's sin humbly acknowledge habitual stumbling in spiritual darkness our stony hearts dungeons resistant to the promptings of grace. Raise us up to be living witnesses to your kingdom of light and peace and love. Amen. There shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will uphold it with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is taken from the book by Sister Beda Brooks, a Benedictine nun of the Bavarian Abbey of St. Wahlberg Eichstadt in, in Germany. <laughs> 